Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sivadas, a senior faculty in mathematics, working for several years in many engineering colleges like Arava Group of Colleges and uh, SVS Group of Colleges. Now, presently, I am working in uh, British College in Nasabet. Okay, today I am going to give a lecture on Laplace transformations. Okay, Laplace transformation is a useful technique for uh, many engineering students and science students. Okay, for engineering particularly, in the analysis of signals and systems, we use this Laplace transformation technique. Now, I am going to give a brief lecture on this Laplace transformation. Okay, so, Laplace transforms. What is meant by Laplace transform? Suppose, f of t is a function defined for all positive values of t. Let the form D be a function, function defined for all t greater than 0, then, then the Laplace transform of f of t is defined as integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f t dt. That is, Laplace transform of f of t is defined as integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t. It is denoted by t is denoted by L of f t f t. Thus, L of f t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. See, the Laplace transformation of a function is uh, defined when the integral exists. If the integral exists, then only Laplace transform is defined, otherwise not defined. So, after this transformation, what we are doing? Here, f of t is a function of t. By applying this transformation, the Laplace transformation, we are getting a function, we are getting a function in terms of, in terms of s. It is denoted by the bar s. Thus, clearly, L of f of t is equal to the bar s. It means Laplace transformation changes a function f of t into a function the bar s. So, L indicates transformation. Since it was invented by Laplace, it is named by his name Laplace transformation. Thus, L of f t is equal to the bar s. The bar s is the Laplace transformation of f of t. Conversely, this f of t, f of t is called the inverse Laplace transformation of the bar s. Here, f of t is called the inverse Laplace transformation of the bar s. Now here, the main properties of Laplace transformation are number one, number one, linear t property. Linear t property. Linear. Suppose, let f of t and g of t be any two functions, any two functions, and a comma b are constants, constants. Then L of a into f t plus b into g t, g of t is equal to a into L of f t plus b into L of g of t. It means this is called the linear linearity property. Linearity property means Laplace transformation of a sum is equal to sum of the Laplace transformations. Sum of the Laplace transformations. Now some elementary sum, elementary results. Now I am going to deduce. I am going to deduce some results in Laplace transformation. For example, for example, to find, to find, to find L of 1, to find L of 1 or L of A like this. Now I am going to find Laplace transformation of L of 1, L of A like that. Suppose the definition of Laplace transformation is, is L of F of T, L of F of T integral 0 to infinity e, e power minus st f of t dt. Nice. Now take f of t is equal to 1. 
Name here the fourth equal to one that gives you a law of one. Integral zero to infinity e power minus s t into one d two. Nice. Now this is nothing but integral zero to infinity e power minus s t d t. Now its integration is integral of e power minus s t is e power minus s t by minus s divided by zero to infinity. Okay, then it can be written as minus one by s taking common to e power minus e to d minus e power minus e. Okay, after simplifying this, you will get minus one by s integral of e power minus e to d is zero. This is minus one. So this is nothing but one by s. Thus, we get a law of one. Is equal to one by s. This is the other. then. Now the thing is here. Similarly, in general, in general, in general, we can write a law of k is equal to k by s. Law of k is equal to s. Now the second property is second property. A law e power a t is equal to one by one upon s minus k. How you will do? According to the definition, by the definition of Laplace transform, a law f t is equal to integral zero to infinity e power minus s t f of t d. Now, in place of f of t, you take the e power a t. See. Take f of t equal to e power a t implies a law of e power a t is equal to integral zero to infinity e power minus s t into e power a t d t. Nice. Actually, a law of f t differentiation is uh, integral zero to infinity e power minus s t f of t. Now, actually, we want to find Laplace transformation of e power a t. So, in place of f of t. You take e power a t. So a law of e power a t equal to this one. Now this can be written as integral zero to infinity e power of minus of s minus a into t d t. This can be written as like this. Now its integration is equal to e power minus of s minus a of t by minus of s minus a limits from zero to infinity. If you substitute the limits here, what will happen? We will get finally really, minus one by s minus a here e power minus of s minus a into t zero to infinity. Now here minus one by s minus a here e power minus infinity minus e power minus zero. Okay, as you know that e power minus infinity is zero. And e power minus zero is equal to one. Therefore, this gives minus one by s minus a zero minus one minus one. So it gives you after simplifying this minus minus becomes plus one by s minus a. So finally, finally we get to the law of e power a t is equal to one by s minus a. This is one set. The law of e power a t equal to e power. So similarly, if we replace e power a t by e power minus a t, that is good. We can write the law of e power minus a t. That means in the above result, you replace a by minus a. Since the law of e power a t equal to one by s minus a. Now I want to know the law of e power minus a. Then what we have to do? Replace a. By minus a in the above set, you get one by s minus one minus a. That gives you one by s plus a. So therefore, this is another result. Finally, the law e power a t is equal to e power minus a t equal to one by s plus a. Now the results are finally the law e power a t is equal to one by s minus a and The law of e power minus a t is equal to 
1 by s plus k. These are the two important results. Okay. Next year, third one is to find one result. Now third one is to find to find a law sin a t sin a t and a law cos a t cos a t. Okay. Now we are going to find the Laplace transformations of uh, sin a t and cos a t. Okay. So as you know, the definition by the definition by the definition of Laplace transformation, L log f of t, L log f of t, integral 0 to infinity, e power minus s t, f of t, d t. Nice. Now, in place of f of t, you take sin k t. See, let f of t equal to sin a t. This implies L of sin a t. In place of f of t, you take sin a t. L of sin a t, integral 0 to infinity, e power minus s t to sin a t d t. Okay. In the uh, intermediate uh, integra integration, you know that you know that this is integration formulas. We know that it is in the form integral uh, e power a x into sin b x. Then we have to apply integration by parts. So if you apply integration by parts, we know that we know that integral e power a x power a x sin b x d x is equal to e power a x by a square plus b square into into a sin b x minus b cos b x. This is the important result in integration by parts. Okay, now I am going to use this formula, going to use this formula in first equation. Now I can write L of sin a t, L of sin a t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into sin a t dt. This is the first equation. Now here we compare this one and this one, both are same. Here minus s t is there, here a x is there, sin is there, sin is there. Okay. You compare this and use this one. You can write e power minus s t by minus s square, minus s square means s square plus a square square into minus s into sin a t minus here a into cos a t limits from t equal to 0 to infinity. 0 to infinity. Okay. Now, if you substitute the limits 0, 0 to infinity, here you get 1 by s square plus a square square here e power minus infinity here minus s sin infinity minus a cos infinity minus substitute by limit e power minus 0 into minus s into sin 0 0 minus a into cos 0 cos 0. Now if you simplify if we simplify this you will get you will get 1 by s square plus a square. This everything is 0. Why? Because e power minus infinity is 0. 0 is something is 0. This becomes 0. Minus 1 into 0 minus a into cos 0 is 1. Cos 0 is 1. Now, if you simplify, finally, we get a by s square plus a square. Thus, a law of sin a t. So, L of sin a t is equal to a by s square plus a square. Similarly, you can write L of cos a t is equal to s by s square plus a square. Now, these are the some results in Laplace transformation. By using this Laplace transformation technique, we can apply this in uh, for uh, signals and systems to analyze the nature of the signal and the characteristics of the signal one can apply this Laplace transformation methods. Similarly, to solve the differential equations of first order and differential equations of higher order uh, we can use this Laplace transformation. 
using this Laplace transform, one can solve the differential equations without finding the general solution. These, these are also useful in uh, structural engineering, like uh, strengths of beams and in constructing um, uh, that is, columns, beams, etc. Uh, these techniques are very useful. By applying this Laplace transformation technique, one can solve the typical engineering problem in an easy way. Okay, thank you friends.